All right, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another training video. Today we are gonna be hitting lower B, so we're gonna be doing some RDLs, and then uh, maybe leg press, maybe something different. Still uh, deciding on that, and I'll probably touch on that in a little bit here, but um, real quick, just kinda wanted to give you guys a little uh, life update and training update because I haven't made a training video in about a week or so. Um, things are going really good right now. The string of really good training continues. Um, my, my workouts have just been very, very good, very, very progressive as of late. Um, however, I am kind of starting to pay the price for that now. Um, my, I, I'm not like injured injured but my body is like starting to get really sore uh a lot <laughs> pretty much all the time um fatigue is starting to get higher uh and and i'm kind of planning on taking some sort of like a deload period coming up soon i'm, I'm definitely due for one and my body is kind of giving me all of the signs that i need one so today's session i don't know if it will be at full volume or if it will be at uh, a reduced level of volume. I kind of want to just see how my body feels when I get in the gym and, and decide based off of that. But um, with the deload coming up, uh, I, I, I'm kind of in a position where it's a good opportunity for me to do that. And th that's kind of like the life update part is that this weekend, Carissa and I are actually moving. Uh, we're going to be moving into a much bigger um, apartment uh, right now. Uh, we're living in a pretty small uh, one bedroom apartment and obviously with both of us working from home we've definitely outgrown that place so we've been looking for a new place for a while now and we ended up like signing off on this place a little bit ago and, and we move in this coming week to a three bedroom place so we're each going to have our own office room uh, which we're very excited about it's pretty much necessary at this point so uh, but we're excited to do that, but obviously with the move coming up, that, that is going to be like a lot of work physically, uh, and it's also going to be a lot of work mentally and everything, so this period that I'm in right now uh, is kind of a good opportunity for me to run the deload, the deload and my move kind of like coinciding together, so um, still kind of putting... The final plans on that but right now the plan is to finish off the week at full volume and full intensity and then take the weekend off and then next week i'm actually really considering uh, making some modifications to my programming and if i do end up doing that then i'll talk about that when i do it but uh, the long and short of it is that i'm really considering <clears throat> changing my split to a modified full body split where uh, I'll be hitting my quads uh, every other day. So at maximum possible frequency. So uh, that's kind of why I said in the beginning uh, that I may leg press or I may hack squat today, just kind of depending on how I'm feeling. Uh, my knee at this point is pretty much <laughs> at 100%. Knock on wood, I don't have any wood or anything to knock on right now but uh, my, my knee is pretty much at 100% right now and yesterday after my upper body session I did some light pendulum squats and everything is feeling really good there um, and d depending on how today's potential hack squats go uh, th that's kind of like the last thing that I need to finalize. Pretty much with this upcoming split, I'm going to be hitting my legs every other day. And so I'm going to want four different um, like quad compound movements. And right now I have two leg presses, the pendulum squat, and I'm still kind of searching for the fourth one. And I think realistically my fourth one will probably be the hack. Uh, if I can find a way to rig up the hack squat to get full range of motion here. The, the hack squat that we have at that at this gym is the arsenal hack squat which is just it's really bad for range of motion you can't really get full depth on it and i'm sure that there's some way that i can stack like yoga blocks or whatever to make it happen uh and 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 that's kind of what i want to try and do at either today or tomorrow so but if I can get the hack squat to kind of get finalized in the way that I want to set that up, 
what I'll probably do is I'll take Saturday and Sunday off this weekend, and then next week will kind of be the first run of the modified full body split. So I'm pretty excited for that. Uh, and, and just kind of see how my body responds and reacts to that, so to say. As I was kind of saying earlier, fatigue is really high in these past couple of sessions. Like, I've very much been noticing the fatigue. Fatigue has been really high. Uh, yesterday, at the towards the end of my upper body session, I was like struggling to finish. Like, it was hard. Yesterday was a hard workout. Today is my hardest workout of the entire program, so I don't foresee today being much easier, to be honest with you. So I think today is gonna be a real challenge, depending on how today goes, is gonna be a really good uh, like telling point of what I need to do with my training for the rest of the week, <clears throat> whether I need to drop volume on Thursday and Friday sessions, or whether I can keep on keeping on. But uh, today I do foresee being a challenge. I think that I'm, you know, definitely up for the challenge and capable of progressing all of my lifts and everything today. So I'm not really worried about it in that sense, but I think it, uh, especially towards the tail end of the workout today, it will probably be very challenging. So uh, I'm drinking a bang, which is 300 milligrams of caffeine. For me, that's a lot. Uh, so I'm gonna get pretty wired off of this and I'm gonna blast. I don't know what type of music I'm gonna blast, but it'll be something fucking dirty, whether it's some metal or whether it's some like dirty Southern rap or something. Uh, but yeah, man, today's, today's gonna be hard, but I'm looking forward to the challenge. I know I, I was kind of telling myself before, and I've talked about this in other videos, which is why I recommend if you really love bodybuilding to do a fucking prep, man. Because to be honest with you, as bad as I feel right now, this is pretty easy compared to what I was feeling in prep. And if I was able to get through prep, I can most definitely get through today. So just trying to remind myself of that and uh, let's go pull some fucking shit.
It was very apparent to me right away when the workout started that I was not going to be able to do this one at full volume today. Just body is uh, really run down uh, and really tired, so I just dropped my volume on everything. Um, the way that I did that is I just eliminated all of my intensity techniques. So at the moment, it, with my normal programming at full volume, I do a rest pause set on the calf raise. The second set is a rest pause. And then I do a double drop set on the leg extension. And then I do on the single leg curl. The single leg curl, I kind of do like basically a rest pause or a cluster set type of thing. So I just cut all of those out. Um, and I'm gonna drop volume the rest of the week uh, as well. I'm, I'm really tired and I didn't really mention this, I forgot to mention this on the way into the gym, but my mental desire to train, dude, I wish I could take a picture of this right now. The car in front of me, the bumper sticker says, I love MILFs on it and this guy is my fucking spirit animal. Anyways, massive distraction, but that was fucking great. Um, I don't even remember what the fuck I was talking about. So, getting back to the programming talk, uh, I was talking about how my mental desire to train has been down, and that has been pretty apparent the past couple of days. Like, I, I just really don't have any desire to go to the gym, so. Uh, you know, I, it is necessary for me at this point to pull back uh, and deload in some way. Uh, basically, all that I'm going to be doing is uh, decreasing volume for my workouts the rest of the week uh, and then taking the weekend off, which I had planned to do anyways. But I need to go ahead and then get that done. And then um, a couple of other highlights from today's workout is that I pulled 365 for five. Uh, which I'm very happy about. The past two rotations, I've hit it for four, so to break that and hit it for five is awesome. Very happy about that. I'll probably start micro-loading that from here on out. Um, I would love I would love to pull 405 and just get that in my hands sometime in the near future, but I can't do that right now. I'm, I'm way too tired and way too fatigued uh, to do that, but... Um, Next week, uh, I am more than likely going to be starting that modified full body split that I was talking about, and I did get under the hack squat today. Uh, it, it was okay. Um, honestly, my knee was clicking the whole time, and I don't... We'll see how I feel when I wake up tomorrow and as the rest of the day goes on. Like, if, if my knee starts to get painful, then that will obviously be a problem. Uh, and um, <clears throat> I may not be able to do this full body split, but uh, if everything like goes good and I wake up and things feel good tomorrow, I, I really want to give this full body split uh, a try. So that will be getting started after I take the weekend off coming up here. A good closing point to kind of finish this one off as I'm starting to get home is to talk about uh, I'm basically deloading and uh, how I'm approaching the deload and uh, I kind of tying it back in with what I said earlier, how I hit 365 for five today. Um, even though that I am dropping volume coming up here, uh, I am not dropping intensity by any means and I am not not trying to progress my logbook. Um, this is not how I have uh, a lot of people deload, but this is how uh, I deload uh, at the moment. I feel like I'm in pretty good control of my volume and, and my recovery capabilities to be able to know when it's appropriate for me to drop fatigue by simply reducing volume and increasing rest days and when it's important for me and when it's necessary for me to reduce fatigue by taking complete time off of the gym uh, and I just don't feel like I'm at that point yet where I'm so fatigued that I need to be able to take time off of the gym but that is also why I'm kind of starting the deload now and this is something that I've learned from myself and working with clients is uh, I have a pretty bad habit of when I start to 
uh, feel the signs that I need to take a deload. I have a pretty bad habit of going, okay, uh, you know, I accept that the deload is coming, but I, I try to put it off for as long as I can. You know, I'll say things to myself like, oh, I'll, uh, I'm gonna finish off this week of training and then I'll start the deload next week. And usually what happens is I put it off for that week and then the next week rolls around and I go, well, shit, I got away with it last week. Let's try it again this week. And it just ends up pushing and pushing and pushing to the point where I either get hurt, I get sick, uh, or, or things like that. So uh, what I've been trying to get better about doing and what has made me get better at doing this is, is working with people and uh, having the same thing happen with clients. Uh, is as soon as you start to feel the fatigue is coming on, instead of trying to push it off, you try to nip it in the bud right then and there and take care of it immediately so that you can prevent it from uh, getting worse. You know, it, it, it's, it, it is admirable in one sense uh, to keep pushing and uh, keep trying to prolong that. But what I usually find happens and what has happened to me in the past with instances like that is, let's say that you do push it off and then the deload comes around, usually the deload needs to be longer to be able to clear up the fatigue uh, because you pushed so much longer. So like for example, uh, you know, you may only need to decrease volume or drop fatigue for a week, but if you continue to push and to the point where you're really fucked up and then you uh, decide to take your deload phase, uh, you may need to run that for two weeks. So, you know, kind of trying to swallow my pride on that and, and uh, you know, get better about doing that because training obviously is going exceptionally well and I want to prolong that for as long as I can. So, all right, guys, uh, thanks for tuning along. It's been a while since I had done one of these. And by a while, I mean like a week. It really hadn't been that long. But, you know, for me, I felt like it was getting to be a while. So I wanted to get one out for you guys. Uh, big things happening, obviously, in the gym and outside of the gym, you know, as I was talking about moving into a new place, which is super exciting. I have a lot of new ideas, like for my office and everything. I want to get like one of those cool custom backdrops with my logo and everything on it and all that shit. But um, yeah, just uh, pretty excited for all that stuff to uh, happen. Uh, kind of pulling back on training while we're doing that. It's kind of perfect timing that these things are happening at the same time. So uh, just going to drop some fatigue over the course of the next couple of days. And then potentially starting full body training, which is easily going to be the hardest training program that I've ever done in my life. But I also think it'll be the most rewarding. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. That, that really is kind of dependent on how my knee feels waking up tomorrow, to be very honest with you. Uh, if the hack squats from today fucked my knee up, then uh, I'll probably just stick with upper lower that I'm running uh, and just kind of continue to progress that. So we'll see. We'll see. All right. Thanks again, guys. Uh, as always, any uh, questions or anything about the training, just go ahead and leave them in the comments. Uh, if you're interested in coaching or any of that stuff, the links are in the description below. And as always, guys, take care of yourselves uh, and stay tuned for the next one. Oh.